Hello guys, it's me, Tonic TZW, and having a conversation with Chin the other day, and he says that all YouTubers kind of sanitize their channels and only put their good games on where they do awesome. And uh, that's not entirely true, because I do have a playlist on here called Spud Runs, which this video is going to be part of. And I've just called this one a good bad game, because I'm playing in the tier 7 premium Japanese cruiser, the Suzuya, not a boat that I play a very often but we've got a couple of divisions on each team and this is going to be a hard fight now you did see from the splash screen there that i pick up the confederate and a confederate is 20 percent damage to at least six ships in the game so i'm certainly going to be having my work cut out and uh sadly it's going to be one of those games that comes down to the last couple of minutes and potentially some missteps in the play. But we'll get into it. Now, I've spawned centre here, and uh, I know I'm turning broadside, but I want to kind of angle and kite because I've got a lot of range on these guns, and I want to use that range and use the dispersion at range of red team shells. Um... To sort of give me some survivability if you know what i mean so the further away that i am from them then the more dispersion their shells are going to have but um i make a mistake here because you should never be the first person to fire your guns really should you no because you know what's going to come look at that there is a full salvo coming from i think it's a missouri there yes it is so we're going to start mortaring we get a fire on that Lennon, and now we turn out. We are spotted, but when you consider the range that we have on here, um, yeah, I knew we were going to be spotted. And that's one of the bad things about this, is the second you fire your guns, pretty much anybody on the map can see you. But um, far from abandoning B-cap at the moment... The Ostergotland has got himself spotted and it is great to see because watch this, everybody is absolutely railing on that guy. And I thought that at this point, with this Ostergotland getting absolutely chunked and taken out of the game, come on, everybody wants a piece. Who's going to get the kill? I think it's there, the Zeton with his main guns. But we've got an Edinburgh tucked in behind that rock. So we have the advantage because we have the destroyer. And uh, yep, yeah, he should be going straight into A cap. Now, what really disappointed me here, watching this replay back and having a look at what's going on with the minimap, is that even though we've killed their destroyer, we aren't on a capture point, yet red team are on Charlie Cap, and we have three ships across there, and not one of them is contesting it. Uh, Chin also said something else the other day, um, which, which is true. It's like, people, people don't play the way you expect them to so you know, like you know you're playing a game and you can't have kind of have expectations of people playing a map a certain way or playing a ship a certain way and um it gets incredibly frustrating when you see um perhaps gameplay that you think could be better you know you can't educate people they have to learn for themselves but it does get incredibly frustrating and, and i for one have um, on occasion lost my temper with people so if you've heard me on the mic um saying some unkind words yes i do apologize but it comes from sheer frustration but there we go the missouri is on to me across there the edinburgh is there i've got him burning he is spotted and we've got the Lennon, we've got the Missouri, we've got the Edinburgh there. We finally take in um, A cap, but we've got nothing to contest B. So we're going to try and get some shots on that Lennon. We're going to try to get some shots on this Missouri, because what we're trying to do here is stop Red Team from controlling this cap. And I've got three ships to shoot at, but that also means there's three ships to shoot at me. And I'm going to have to rotate my fire between these guys 
to try and make sure that we reset as many capture points as possible. Now if you look across to Charlie Cap, you can see that um, there's one ship has pulled all the way back, that's a Congress, and um, the other two are kind of stacked. I don't know if there's a little island there, if they're in open water, but they're stacked there, and they're just not not pushing. Incredibly frustrating. Push onto that cap, you can stop red team from accruing points. So there we go. Battleship, cruiser, and another cruiser. The Edinburgh doesn't appear to have smoke, so that means he's got radar, and uh, he, th I think he used that radar to get rid of our Fletcher. So neither team has a destroyer now. I haven't got an angle for torpedoes, so all I can try to do is to get some fires on these guys and keep this cap reset. Try and hold them there in the middle of the map. But because we've taken A cap, those guys are now going straight across to B. But in doing so, they've given up their broadsides to the Massachusetts that is the back of the map. And as much as I hate people going round like the long way around the outside of the map, I think if they had focused that Massachusetts, then we might have had a better position to then attack this cap. We have got contesting on there. There's some torpedoes going out. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I can do here. I can see there's an Aegea there. And there's a Bismarck. These guys are just in reverse. Bismarck secondaries are working on them. And we are going to do what we can now to try and support these guys. Because I'm thinking the guys from A are pushing B. They've taken care of that. These guys appear to be having a real problem taking care of these two ships. So I'm going to support them. See if we can get rid of these two ships. And then we can push in. But Red Team are just going to completely start decimating those guys that pushed across from A to B. And they're not protecting it. It's going to allow that Massachusetts to push straight down. The Edinburgh is going to push in as well. So I'm going to try and get on this Aegea. And at the same time, I'm thinking I need to turn round soon, go back the other way and try and help the guys between A and B. But it's not looking good. It's still pretty much even Stevens. We lose the Brandenburg to the Edinburgh, whether or not he was trying to do secondaries and things like that. I don't know. But again disappointing they now have a significant lead over us 129 points it's like two ships and they've had this cap a lot longer than we have i'm just trying to burn this gear down just trying to do as much damage as i can he's given me a broadside so i'm turning i know that i'm giving up my broadside to him but i want to try and bait him bait him into a shot on me to give the other guys some respite from the fire that is going on across there we have one battleship back across there near a cap it looks like he's heading across to b he again is going to be broadside to that massachusetts so i don't know what is going on the congress is still running for the back of the map and i get absolutely smashed by that air gear who had obviously had enough of me setting them on fire now the other cruiser out there is a petro and um, there is four ships players three we've almost managed to pull it back but we don't have the capture points and i really think that um well two things had i stayed on bravo and tried to keep this contested could I have prevented that from happening? What would have happened to those two guys on the right flank? There's the Harbin. We get a salvo on him. How are those looking? Yep, we get some hits, but we don't really get a lot out of it. There's still a Congress there. So we're going to turn out. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. Torpedoes towards that smoke screen. 
the battleship, I think, is a Jean Bart. He's trying to bow tank the Massachusetts, but he's got this Missouri coming across, and I lose sight of it momentarily. Now, that Congress is so far back on the map that he is out of the game completely. No use to man nor beast. I don't know how much hit points the Petro has, but... He's actually going in to take the cap. With five minutes left on the game, what are we, 140, 160 points behind? Is it worth taking that cap? Potentially not. I don't think that cap is going to make a difference. And at this point in the game, I'm thinking we literally do need to kill everything to take a win. We lose the Jean Bart to the Massachusetts. The Missouri is very much focused on me. And I'm really hoping that those guys will push across. But we land a torpedo on the harbour. We get set on fire ourselves. And I'm just thinking, oh god, you know, now we've got the Massachusetts. We are piggy in the middle. We're nearly to the back of the map. We can't push in against two battleships, especially by taking ourselves into range of the harbour as well. And I'm just thinking, if those two guys hang a left and push in towards Bravo, they can take care of those two ships. That would be the biggest help at this stage in the game. But yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? It's not. You can hear from the disappointment in my voice. So yes, people will not play the way that perhaps we as individuals might think they should play. I can't get range on this bloomin' Massachusetts because these shells are so floaty. The turret traverse is evil. If there's one thing that you don't do with a Suzuya is chase it when it's kiting away from you because he will just keep setting you on fire and burning you. At least he will do if he can land some shells on you. But we're against the line, we've got no option now but to turn round and we're going to have to wait for these turrets to come. Here comes a full send from the Massachusetts, what's going to happen here? Oh, no, yep, yeah. oh, no, yes, no, there we go. He missed us, we've got 30 seconds for his reload, he's damage controlled the fire, oh, he kept the turret back. But we are going to get on him, we're going to go towards him now, we need to push back in. The Petro is sailing round that cap on Charlie to take it. The Congress has finally made his way into the game. Massachusetts is burning. That should be a stick and tick. And I'm trying to say, forget the cap. Go for Bravo. We need to get on these guys as the Massachusetts absolutely stings me through the front. But that is kill number three, 120,999 damage. It wouldn't even give us the 121. So the Petro now is going, which way is it going? It looks like he's going north of the cap. The Congress is pushing in. And um, with, what, two minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock, we are more than 380 points behind. The only way to win this is to get into Bravo Cap, find these two ships and kill them. But given the location of the Congress and the fact that we can't see them, I'm thinking I'm going to ping the map and say they're obviously behind the islands or going away from us. They know they've got this in the bag. There's the radar from the Congress that covers the cap. They're not on the cap. They're not behind the island. They must be out here somewhere. Have they turned and run? I don't know. But what can we do? The Congress is on cap. The Petro is pushing in. Now his radar is a little bit more long range. But has he burned it? I don't know. I don't know. We need to get these guys spotted. And I'm really disappointed in myself at the moment. That I didn't continue to take care of this Missouri that perhaps I should have turned in and gone against the harbour.
but that would have put me in a position where I was against the Harbin, the Missouri and the Massachusetts on air flank as well. We get another fire which I think he damage controls. The rear turrets are on us. He's having to pull forwards. We narrowly avoid those shells. We've picked up another couple of K of damage. Are those two guys going to take care of the Missouri and spot the Harbin? The Harbin can't have much left on them. We need to be ready for a shot here. 30 seconds on the clock. We can't see him. He has run and he has run for the win, which was the right thing to do because I don't think he would have had much left on him with the torpedo hit that he took from me. So there we go. I give a well played and a negative because I think had those guys been a little bit more um, active on Charlie Cap, if I had perhaps steered contesting Bravo Cap, then things could have worked out a bit differently. But there we go, 123,000 damage, 274 main gun hits, 3 kills, 16 fires, 13 cap resets and the Confederate. That would have been, what, a 3,200 game had we won 500 or more XP clear of second place and that petro had a solo cap so there we go a bit of a good bad game one for the spud runs list and uh, just one to show chin that it's not all about the great games that go on youtube i don't think he was talking about me in particular but uh you know we've got to put some of the good out there and the bad hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget smash the like button uh, leave me a comment tell me what build you run on suzuya until next time take care of yourselves and goodbye